Hello and welcome back again to my channel. Today I will show you how to make high-end wall decor with charges, silver edition. My name is Nora G and welcome to my nook. So before we get down to business, if this is your first time here, I would love it if you can subscribe to my channel and join my nook virtual family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. You remain the real MVPs. So now let's dive in. This video is backed by popular demand after my last video showing you 5 mirror wall decor in gold. So this is the silver edition and this is all you would need for this one. So for this high end wall arch DIY we would need some charger plates of course, some tumbling blocks, I'll be using these, some rocks or some stones, some plastic spoons, some sand, could be any kind. Uh, seashells, all of these from the dollar store, metallic glass gravel, this is from my previous DIY videos, and some round marbles, some silver glitter, some Mardi Gras beads, some coffee stars, and some metallic silver spray paint, Mod Podge of course, E6000 glue, and some mirrors. Now let's get down to business, shall we? First would be this Tony Block mirror wall decor, which as the name goes, is made from tumbler blocks and some stones. <laughs> so yes, of course, I will be using the Mardi Gras beads to form the frame around where I'll be placing the mirrors and then we'll go from there. So make sure to use the tumbling blocks and um, set around the charger to mark the spots where you want to glue them before you actually start the gluing process. So for me, I didn't have to use a ruler or anything, I just went through the dots you see on the charger plates and made sure to skip every dot after. So after every dot is where I glued a tumbling block. Watch as I continue this. Like I had mentioned previously, this high-end wall art DIY is backed by popular demand after my last video showing you 5 mirror wall decor in gold. So this is a silver edition and actually this is a client order and so I thought to share the process with you all as these will be very different from the previous. Link to how I made those can be found in the description box and also at the top right corner of the screen right now. So make sure to check it out and thank you. So once I was done gluing the tumbling blocks around the charger plates, I went ahead to glue on the rocks in between the cracks or in between the gaps that is left on the charger plates. Do this until every space is filled completely with rocks using hot glue or any glue of your choice. Watch as I complete this. Overall, for this mirror wall decor video, I will be using a combination of two items for each mirror wall decor piece as opposed to one item like I did in my previous video with a gold edition. Using two items per mirror wall decor piece takes it to a whole different level of sophistication in my opinion. So that is why I'm doing this this way and also that is what the client wants. I then went ahead and spray painted it silver, of course, and once that was dry, I went ahead to apply the mirror. Using hot glue and some E6000 glue for a stronger hold. You can use whatever glue that you feel will be best for you. In my case, I'm using just the E6000 glue and the hot glue, and this works perfectly for me. And now there we have our high-end wall decor DIY mirror. Look at that. This is a DIY quick and easy glam wall mirror decor guys. It is so easy, you will be amazed. All you need is a little patience and some creative juice to sip on. I would also consider this a DIY mirror wall decor Dollar Tree because 95% of the items used in this video are from the Dollar Tree. And that is how to make high-end wall art with charges without breaking the bank. On to the next.
Now for our next high-end wall art DIY, we will be using some sand and some seashells. That is why I call it sandy shell wall art decor. Don't ask me how I come about these names, okay? I just love them. <laughs> Let's carry on. So I'll be using the Mardi Gras beads, of course, again, around the charger plate at the base of where I will be placing the mirrors. And then went ahead to apply the, the seashells around the area which will be covered. So watch as I complete this. So for this mirror wall decor, this particular one, I used a generous amount of hot glue. Uh, underneath the uh, the seashells so make sure to apply enough hot glue to glue them down onto your chargers because you don't want them falling off once you're done with your DIY so what you say complete this so once I was done gluing the seashells around the charges I went ahead to use some Mod Podge to glue the sand in between the spaces that is left so what you say do this I had so much fun with this particular DIY, in fact with all five of them, but for some reason I was so excited to bring this one to life from when I actually had the idea in mind. So I really really loved how this turned out, so just watch until you see the final product. So after applying the mud parch around the spaces that was left and then putting sand over it, I let it dry for about three to four hours and then went ahead to do another coat of Mod Podge and sand again because I wanted the sand to be thick to have a higher layer over the seashells not too high to cover the shells but just enough to cover the spaces that were still showing so once I was satisfied with how it looked I went ahead to spray paint it and once this was dry, I went ahead to use some more Mod Podge, this time with some silver glitter on the areas where I poured the sand, just so it has some nice shine to it. And guys, you need to see this up close. It is so pretty. I just loved how everything was coming together exactly like I pictured in my mind. I went ahead to use a mirror, of course, for the final touch. And of course, using the E6000 glue and my hot glue, I glued that down onto the charger plate. And there we have our high-end wall art DIY slash mirror wall decor. Look at that. These look so high-end. It can also be considered a Z Gallery inspired wall decor or a Z Gallery inspired DIY wall art slash Z Gallery inspired DIY mirror. This silver wall decor DIY or even better, this DIY Dollar Tree silver wall decor can be added to your Glam Christmas decor DIY and Glam Christmas wall decor list since it is Christmas season and we're using silver of course for all five pieces. So for my Christmas decor lovers, make this your silver wall decor DIY for Christmas. High end wall art DIY number three is our Stony Rock mirror wall decor. Again, don't ask me how I come up with these names. I just love them. <laughs> and of course, I just have to name these things, you know? Anyways, so you know the drill. We're using our Mardi Gras beads around the edge of where we will be placing the mirrors. And then I will go ahead to glue down the rocks. And then we will use the, the stones, I'm sorry. I'm not sure exactly what the difference between rocks and stones is. Can someone please tell me this in the description? Sorry, in the comment section. I would love to know. But to me, these are rocks. And then the other tiny ones are stones. No, sorry, these are stones. <laughs> I am confused. I would love to know the difference, guys. Please, someone educate me. So yes, let's carry on. So using my hot glue, I went ahead to glue down the gravel, the metallic gravel, or the rocks, or uh, the stones, <laughs> again, um, uh, in between the cracks, or in between the spaces that is not covered. 
with the rocks okay so i could have easily used mod podge for this but i found that using the hot glue was way faster and it was easy for me to cover so much space and thickness um, with just using the hot glue once i was done putting this all around the charger plate i went ahead to use the mod podge over it for a stronger hold so to me guys this was faster because with mod podge you may have to apply several layers to achieve this which the hard glue does in just one coating if you're interested in purchasing some of my art not all of them i only sell a couple you can check out my stall front with vip socio the link is found in my description box and you can go ahead to patronize me if you want so i can bring more diy videos like this one to you all nonetheless if you want to do it yourself you can actually go ahead and do right so because that is exactly why i am here for you guys okay so thank you if you want to go about decorating on a budget 2020 then you want to try this this easy charger plates decor can be used for interior room decorating so add this to your list of apartment decorating ideas on the budget 2020 and interior room decorating ideas i hope you find this mirror wall decor video very useful for your next diy wall decor project so let's carry on so if you've been on my channel before you know this was coming all right so you know the drill if you've watched right up to this point i would love it if you can comment silver in the comment section and show your girls some love and there we have our mirror wall decor ready for your viewing pleasure our stony rock mirror wall decor i love the details on this guys like i had so much fun doing this and even more so the fact that it came out just the way i envisioned so please let me know in the comment section which of these pieces was your favorite or is your favorite I would love to know. Thank you. For high-end wall art DIY number four, I call it Silver Spoon Mirror Wall Decor. Yes, I'm back again with the names. But yes, I will be using spoons, plastic spoons, or plastic disposable spoons for this DIY. Watch as I complete this. I couldn't cut through these using a scissors, so I had to break them with my hands. I would recommend you wearing some kind of a glove before doing this because it is not as easy as it looks. Trust me, okay? Just to be safe. So once I was done doing that, I went ahead to measure around the plate just to make sure that I had enough and I went on to glue down the spoons using a generous amount of glue to glue them down. When doing this, be careful not to allow the web on the glue gun to go over the spoons because you will be spray painting that and you do not want it to look messy. I applied two layers of spoons around the charger plates just so it is well covered and it gives it a fuller look. Okay, so please do let me know in the comments section which of these high-end wall art DIY pieces is your favorite i would love to know thank you once i was done with applying the spoons around the charger plate i added a second layer of mardi gras beads over the spoons at the edge just to make sure it is well covered because you do not want to see that okay and also it gives it a better look than having just one bead around the plate so once that was done of course, I went ahead and applied our mirror using E6000 glue and hot glue. I've said this over and over again, but yes, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
And there we have our high-end silver spoon mirror wall decor in all its glory. Look at that. I just love how this looks. It looks like a flower to me. And even more so, unless you were told you cannot tell this is actually made out of plastic spoons. Looks very metallic and very high-end. So this will make a perfect piece for your home. So make sure to try this out guys. And again, let me know in the comment section which of these was your favorite. And finally for high-end wall art DIY number 5, that is our marble wood mirror wall art decor, I will be using of course some marbles, some Scottish terrors, as well as some Mardi Gras beads. So instead of the Mardi Gras beads around the edge of where I will be placing the mirrors, I decided to use some marbles for a different look. And I will use the coffee stairs, which I have measured um, before curling out around the base of the plate and um, before applying the um, Mardi Gras beads. Again, for this one, I did not use any kind of measurement. I am going by the dots around the plate to glue the sticks, making sure that the space in between is actually equal. Once that was complete, I went ahead to glue the marbles in between the spaces that was left. So the dots made it easy for me. Not all charger plates come this way. So if you happen to have a charger plate that doesn't have any markings, you may have to use a ruler or some kind of measurement to guide you through, okay? I then went ahead to spray paint this silver and once that was dry, I went on to use the Mardi Gras beads uh, on top of the, uh, the coffee stirrer portion of the, of the decor. So I went ahead to apply every after two sticks. Okay, so watch as I complete this. In other news, if you didn't have time to check out my last upload on Saturday, make sure to check it out after this video. I did mention I will be uploading twice the month of December on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time still and on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So the first upload was last week Saturday so be sure to check it out how I set up my Christmas tree. Okay and don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as a thumbs up for this video if you're liking it so far. So there we have our silver spoon mirror wall decor ready. I love how simple this one looks and also very glamorous. Let me know in the comments section what you think about each and every one of these pieces. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you. Again, the one thing I love about DIY pieces is that you cannot find these anywhere else. Okay, you can find similar but not the same. Even more so, they are very affordable because all the items you use to make these are within your reach. Okay, so make sure to try this DIY and let me know how it goes for you. I would love to know. Okay, so just a quick recap, we went from this regular looking charger plates to these amazing DIY home decor wall arts, okay? These high-end wall art DIYs that can be made from the comfort of your home and they look just as sophisticated and high-end. 
Also, please do let me know in the comment section which of these Glam Wall Mirror DIY was your favorite. As well as smash that like button if you did enjoy this video. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you're new to my channel and turn on notification bell so you can continue to get more content like this from me. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great holiday.